still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, online since 2004, is the one and only rock and roll geek show with the original rock and roll geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today's Saturday, August something. I'm not sure what it is. Is it the 20th? I, I'm not positive. But today is day 17 of the Dog Days of Podcasting where a bunch of podcast nerds, and boy, I mean super nerds, including me, get together, not together, but separately, and record a show a day for 30 days, and I'm in day 17, as as is everybody else. I am driving in my car right now. I've been working all day on this Saturday. I worked down in Los Gatos, which is an hour south of here, and then after that, I had to work, had to go up this all the way to Sausalito and attempt to do a little bit of carpentry, which I know nothing about. But. Uh, I figured it out as most things I can figure it out and now what I've been doing is so I've been driving around getting food since about uh, about two o'clock I went to because I I'm, have my fire pit and tomorrow is my only day off so I'm gonna I have a big plans of sitting in my backyard all day with one of the Yeti coolers full of ice ice cold tecates, a couple of chairs, and a fire going, and I invited my friend Chiaki from Metal Moment, also participating in the Dog Days of Podcasting, invited him over to spend the day with me and sit around, cook all day, and drink beer. My favorite thing to do, and I think it's Chiaki's too. I I have in my car right here a big thing of Royal Oak hardwood lump charcoal. I'm also going to go look for some um, some wood to cook with as well so I plan on having the fire going all day from late morning till early afternoon and I plan on having a good relaxing day so I first thing I did was I was on my way to Japantown to get some food but first I stopped off at the Korean market and got some kimchi some cucumber kimchi I found some a Korean marinated chicken which I'm gonna put on some skewers and stick those on the grill uh, then I went to Nijia Market in Japantown which is a Japanese grocery store Chiaki is probably gonna be going to Nijia Market too and getting some food but what I got was what did I get I got some chicken livers some uh, free-range chicken livers I got some free-range chicken gizzards I got some octopus sashimi for the grill um, what else did I get at Ninja Market? Oh, I got some a uh, couple of different Kurabuta sausages as well, uh, packs of Kurabuta sausages. So I, I'm going to be making that stuff on the grill. We're just going to sit back all day, relax, throw food on the grill, drink beers. Maybe I'll have some music going in the backyard. Now I'm on my way to the Chinese grocery store to see what else I can get. If this person doesn't run into me as I'm driving, it's an old man, maybe I was running it to him, I doubt it. I'm going to go to the Chinese grocery store and get some chicken feet for my dogs and give them some raw chicken feet, some treats. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the Saturday clearing off my patio. I have a bunch of stuff under a tarp and I'm going to move that stuff off the tarp into the storage room that I built in my backyard. So that I have some room for Chalky and possibly Chalky's designated driver and me and probably my son Brian and my wife. I don't know if she'll be joining us or not, but uh, the plan is to relax all day on Sunday and eat and drink. And that's what I'm on. That's, I'm, that's what I'm off doing stuff. So I'm going to get the hell out of here right now after I go to the Chinese grocery store. I'm going to double back and go look for some Lazari uh, hardwood. I think it's almond wood. Whatever kind of wood that I can find to cook with. Last time I did it, I I used applewood. 
and I do have some applewood and leftover, but not enough to burn all day. I plan on starting that fire late morning and going all day, friends. All right, so that's what I'm. That's that's it for today's dog days of rock and roll of podcasting on the Rock and Roll Geek Show, day 17. On the way to work this morning, I left my house about six o'clock. On my way to work, I listened to some of the. I on the when I was at work, I listened to dog days shows, but when I was on the way to work. I continued listening to the Dennis Dunaway uh, audiobook, Snakes, Guillo- Snakes, Guillotines, ugh, something like that. It's a, it's a great book by Dennis Dunaway. I talked about it before. I don't know why I can never remember the name of the book. But it is great. And in this story, I'm up to the making of the album Killer. Actually, I'm up to the making of Schools Out, but... Uh, Killer is kind of where I left off. I'm just the beginning of School's Out, but I'm, when I left off, I was in the album of Killer. So that's what I'm going to leave off with today. I'm going to play something from the album Killer, which is my favorite Alice Cooper album of all time. It is, it's got the snake on the cover. It's a red album cover. And it's got the snake, and every song is great. Actually, you can't go wrong with Love It to Death, Killer, School's Out, or Billion Dollar Babies. Any of those albums with the original Alice Cooper group are four of the greatest rock and roll albums ever created of all time and probably that ever will be created of all time so thanks for listening friends you know how to reach me also thank you to everybody for donating without your donations this show would die a horrible putrid stench filled death oh by the way uh, the little bug that's been living in my stomach that I thought that I thought I evicted uh, I think he's back but fortunately my fire pit is within walking distance of a bathroom and it'll be worth it friends all right here's alice cooper we'll talk to you next time she struts into the room well i don't know Hello, chicken feet, two pounds, two pounds chicken feet.
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck.